There are some things that are sold for guinea pigs but are dangerous or bad for them. I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles and I'm going to show you seven items you should never buy for your piggies. Buying things for your guinea pig is fun and there are many temptations when visiting the pet shop or shopping online. We naturally expect items that are labelled for guinea pigs to be suitable for them. However, this is not always the case. While a hamster wheel is not only great fun but good exercise for a hamster and some other small pets, it is incredibly dangerous for a guinea pig. Guinea pigs are not meant to move their bodies in the position these toys require. And because they have incredibly delicate bones and a very fragile spine, the unnatural back bending position they are forced into by using these toys can break their back or cause a serious injury. These injuries can be fatal, so please never buy a hamster wheel or ball for your guinea pig. The idea of taking your guinea pig for a walk is one that can be appealing to children. However, putting your guinea pig in a harness and taking them for a walk on a leash is an incredibly dangerous thing to do. Guinea pigs should never be walked as there are many dangers and this is simply not natural for them. A harness is restrictive and if they struggle, as they most likely will, they can very easily sustain a serious injury to their delicately boned bodies. The metal framed hay balls that you can fill with hay to feed your pet can cause serious harm to guinea pigs. There have been many stories of guinea pigs getting stuck or trapped in them and sustaining terrible injuries. If a guinea pig gets stuck in one of these, wire cutters are usually needed to rescue the guinea pig and it is not always a good outcome. Please don't risk buying one of these for your guinea pigs. If you're looking for a good way to feed hay to your piggies, a hay manger is the best option. But even some of these are not great. We recommend the good quality wooden ones, such as the Small Pet Select hay feeders. Cages in pet shops and online are often labelled for guinea pigs even when they are much too small. Guinea pigs need lots of space or they will become depressed. The RSPCA recommends a minimum cage size of 120 by 60 centimetres for two guinea pigs. However, if you have two males, they will need a larger cage and we would recommend 160 by 60 centimetres cage as a minimum for two males. If you have just one guinea pig, which we don't recommend, the cage size still needs to be at least 120 by 60 centimetres. CNC cages are often the best option for guinea pigs as you can buy the components and easily build to the size you need. You can check out our playlist on CNC cages. I'll put a link to this in the description below. Guinea pig bedding can be a bit confusing as there is so much available. But one thing to remember is that if you're going to use pine wood shavings, then they need to be kiln dried. And you should never use cedar shavings for guinea pigs. The reason for this is that guinea pigs have highly sensitive respiratory systems and are very prone to respiratory diseases. Cedar and non-kiln dried pine both naturally contain odours that are toxic for guinea pigs. So using this kind of bedding will make your pets ill. The kiln drying process removes most of the odours from pine shavings, so it is made safe to use. You would think that if a treat was marked as a guinea pig treat, that it would be okay. But this is often not the case. Guinea pig treats will often have added dairy, sugar, or even animal-based products in them. Always check the ingredients if you're buying treats for your guinea pig. And if you're not sure what some of the ingredients are, 
then it's best not to buy them. We recommend the natural treats from Small Pet Select and we'll put links to these in the description below. Salt licks or mineral stones are sold for guinea pigs in pet shops and online stores. Described as 100% natural and a way of supplementing their diet with minerals, they sound like a good thing. However, too much salt is bad for them and they should get all the salt they need from their daily food. So there is no need to buy these. It would be much better to spend your money on some good quality natural treats for your piggies. Our care sheets are great for keeping organised with your piggies. You can buy them online, download and start using them today. I've put a link to them in the description below.